The situation has gone from bad to worse overnight. Japanese forces have managed to overwhelm the defenses on Singapore and have gained control over the city. A small enclave of around 1,200 men are holding out, however, we don't know for how long the situation will be tenable. Rescue efforts are underway. Paul Jones and Whipple have been sailing up the coast of Sumatra. Their destination is Singapore. However, they have been under almost constant air attack, and USS Paul Jones unfortunately suffered multiple bomb hits. Damage control parties did their job, and the ship was able to be recovered with only the loss of 10 men. The trial is not over, however. A Japanese task force has been detected hot on the heels of Whipple and Paul Jones. Aircraft have been scrambled. The odds are against Paul Jones and Whipple. Here's hoping they make it out alive. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our Abdicom series in War on the Sea. As you can see, the situation is not good at all. Uh, first off, Task Force 20, which is Paul Jones and Whipple, have just encountered quite a few Japanese torpedo planes. Additionally, this task force is tracking uh, Task Force 20, this Japanese task force. This has a Mogami, a light cruiser, and a couple of destroyers. And if we get caught on the surface, they are absolutely going to hurt us. We are still moving on towards Singapore to try to rescue some men. We will see how that goes. We do have some aircraft en route to try to hit the Mogami, uh, try to sink her. Maybe we should go for the light cruiser. We'll see. We do have some merchant ships moving through here as well. We did pick up a Japanese destroyer over here, um, something small. So I did send some float planes with torpedoes to try to investigate that target and sink it. So our merchant ships are not under threat. Oh boy. So yeah, the situation is getting pretty darn rough. Singapore falling is quite unfortunate. The silver lining here is it's a level one port and a level one airfield. So, I mean, there is that it could be significantly worse. Initially, my one of my earlier strategies was I was going to just evacuate Singapore right off the bat um, and just have all those troops move to Sumatra to prepare for um, an attempt to retake Singapore once we had the merchant ships and everything uh, available. However, I decided it would be kind of lame not to put up a fight for Singapore. I mean, it is the Gibraltar of the East, pretty um, notable position. And, um, well, we lost it. So <laughs> here we are. And uh, we'll see if, how many of these guys we can save. Anyway, the fish to fry right now is another strike by these Japanese aircraft. Let's go ahead and turn on our radar, shall we? And start. I kind of wish Paul Jones and Whipple were not Clemson class destroyers. Kind of, you know, some dual purpose guns would be nice, but oh my goodness gracious, no way. Entire carrier wings being sent after these destroyers. Okay. Alright. Well, we'll see how this one goes. <laughs> or poor Paul Jones and Whipple. Okay, Whipple needs to uh, let's start moving. Whipple, go ahead and increase your speed as well. Let's put some distance between the two of us. Wow. Well, we'll see how many of these caves we can shoot down. Because that is a lot. And I can't believe there is a carrier in the in the area. That is actually very worrisome. I do wonder where this aircraft carrier is. It is very clear these are carrier-based aircraft. I mean, we did have a large contingent of VALs uh, engage Paul Jones and Whipple in the previous episode. And uh, here's hoping these guys will just spiral in towards the ground and actually hit the ground, but I don't think they will. Paul Jones is the one that has sustained damage. Whipple is going to try to whip around, I guess, these torpedoes. Let's see what we can do here. Let's just... And it looks like they may be prioritizing Paul Jones. Okay, Paul Jones come right. If we look at the damage control here, uh, Paul Jones has some heavy flooding. Her speed's at 60%. Uh, everything else is okay, though. But she has certainly seen some better days. Okay. All these Kates are zooming in. Here we go. They're coming at us. It looks like Paul Jones is getting the brunt of it once again. Paul Jones is going to turn into the formation. 
Let's go ahead and bring up the UI here. Engage, engage, engage. Please start blowing some of these guys out of the water. Okay, torpedoes are away. Torpedoes are in the water. Rudder midships. Okay, yeah, keep turning. Actually, never mind. Keep turning. Oh, no. Whipple is... Okay, right foot rudder. Come on. I think we're going to be good here. Okay, Whipple. It's time to evade. Oh, boy. Here we go. Okay, I think you're good. Paul Jones, rudder midships. Whipple. Okay, you're good. Paul Jones turned into the next formation. I'm more worried about evading with Paul Jones. Uh, mainly because of her damage. Makes it a little difficult. I think we'll be okay. This formation just dropped. Yeah, I think we're going to be clear of that one. Let's check on Whipple. Okay, rudder midships, don't... Okay. Good, good, good. Whipple. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're good. All right. All right, one last formation. Have we shot down? Okay, we've shot down four of them. Thank goodness. Can't let them all get away with this. Okay. Midships. All right, keep turning. Why'd you stop shooting? I guess they're out of arc of our rinky-dink anti-aircraft complement. Okay. I think we're good. There we go. Got another one. Love to see it. There we go. Paul Jones and Whipple survive another just <laughs> onslaught. I love it. These ships are... Oh, man. They're my favorite already. And this is, this is great. All right. Let's go ahead and retreat. Initiate that retreat. Shot down quite a few aircraft. We'll see how many. Well, let's see the report real quick. Okay. The enemy launched 18 aircraft at us, and they lost five. So that's pretty good. I will take that. Just slowly whittling down that aircraft carrier air wing. Paul Jones and Whipple have more Japanese aircraft heading their way. There is this float plane that is flying directly above the formation. However, we have all these zeros as well with no bombs. So, oh man, if they're going to strafe, that is going to be bad. That is going to be bad. Oh, we'll see how this goes. This is getting kind of ridiculous. Anyway, shoot at this float plane going directly above us. And it's just going to fly right on by. Cool. Here we go. The Japanese attack is beginning. Anti-aircraft is opening up. Here's hoping they just fly right... No, are putting on a little air show for us. No, they are strafing Whipple. Good luck, Whipple. Be careful. Oh, boy. Come on. There we go. Got one of them. Good, good, good. Okay. Get the ships on the right side. Okay, starting to strafe. Knowing my luck, this is going to result in like a magazine explosion on one of our destroyers. Okay. Another flight's coming in. It's interesting how they're doing one flight per ship. That the AI is actually working that way. Okay, more zeros coming in. Okay, a fire is broken out on Whipple. There we go. Shot down another one, though. Okay, we can leave. Check damage control. Just a single fire, moderate damage. Keep shooting. There we go. Out of range. Damaged a lot of zeros. Love it. Leave. Confirm. Get out of here. Two aircraft destroyed. Oh, man. And our aircraft are closing in on these ships that are tracking us. Paul Jones and Whipple are still making it to Singapore. They are going to accomplish this mission, okay? <laughs> um, we have a problem. There's another Japanese task force. Two cruisers, one destroyer. Very fast. Okay, well, let's begin this one. Let's go to tactical. Start. And a lot of people are suggesting... Oh, maybe we should just... We're already here. Um, let's form up. Form line ahead. Yeah, get into a line ahead formation. 
And we'll just try to level bomb. Yeah, try to level bomb. And we're already here. Come on. It would be nice just to have an armor-piercing bomb go straight into the magazine of this Mogami. That would be absolutely swell. I'm making sure you are all attacking appropriately because some of you do not like your look. It does not look like this guy's adjusting appropriately, but who knows? All right, let's see. Come on, level bombing. Don't fail me now. All right, just keep on flying by. Fingers crossed. Come on. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Direct hit. Armor piercing bomb. I think that's a 1600 pounder. All right. All right, fellas. Get out of here. Time to go. There we go. Another good hit on Mogami. Unfortunately, I doubt that did too much damage to her. Let's see the report. Heavy damage, moderate flooding, actually. So more than I would have expected. Okay. Oh no, we lost one. That's not good. And I finally got one of us, but you know what? Still just whittling down this Mogami. That's good. Wow. Oh no, we lost another. Keep flying away. All right, we have to let one get out of here alive. One of our aircraft managed to get out of here. Heavy damage on that Mogami, so we'll take it. Um, RTB, please. And I'm bang, new air. Got some Hudsons, have some Hurricanes, 500 bo pound bombs. Three of you with... 100 pound, you know what? Problem is, three hurricanes are not gonna be able to do much against any of the aircraft that are sending us Paul Jones and Whipple. Yeah, okay, let's send these hurricanes in, see what they can do. And let's check down here. These guys did not pick anything up here with that uh, destroyer. It might've been a submarine, it may have been false uh, intel. In that case, the submarine is kind of dangerous in this area. Paul Jones and Whipple have encountered the second Japanese task force, I think. Um, it's a, it's interesting though. The Mogam, unless this is the same task force, because I remember there was a light cruiser and two destroyers. The Mogami is gone though. Unless she was scuttled or something. Anyway, okay, hit that cruiser. Hit that cruiser. Your bombs, please. Uh, formation. Line ahead. Form up. Oh my gosh. Okay. Go ahead and form up. Drop your bombs and get the heck out of here. Uh, they are carrying semi-armor piercing bombs. I was debating engaging the destroyers, but I think the, the cruiser will do us just fine. I do think this is a different task force. Um, we did not get a report that the Mogami was scuttled or anything. Our three brave hurricanes are closing in, flying directly overhead, not taking any anti-aircraft fire. There we go. Just dropped their bombs. Spoke too soon. They are taking anti-aircraft fire. Okay. Let's have all of our hur hurricanes form up. Get out of the area. And come on. There we go. Got a hit there. Two direct hits to a stern and she is on fire that does not look good that does not look good okay i'm gonna have our hurricanes drop down to the deck and increase speed drop to the deck and increase speed let's see how they're doing there we go yeah coming down i think we're gonna go for a strafing run on this cruiser let me identify this cruiser three stacker Pretty sure I know what it is, but chances are. Just to ensure I don't mess it up. Let's just uh, do this. Tenryu. Um, what I thought it was, and I would have been wrong. It's a Nagara. There we go. All right. There we go, hurricanes are on the deck. All right, start swinging around. Moving fast. You're gonna strafe that Nagara. 
and it looks like these hurricanes just have 303s uh no 20 millimeter hispanos or anything like that so i'm sure damage is going to be pathetic but uh here, we'll try anyway yeah 12 12 303 brownings i'm assuming you know what we'll see maybe we'll get lucky just harass the crew a little bit here and this is interesting i didn't even realize it would tell you the armor penetration values of the bombs all right here we go come on you're gonna there we go that's what i was waiting for yeah that's a lot of rifle caliber rounds heading their way there we go all right see you later adios time to leave okay form up run away bravely and there we go another uh, another successful attack this thing does not look too great let's see the report heavy damage minor flooding so we are slowly whittling away the Japanese naval assets in the theater Another hour, another large Japanese air wing attacking Paul Jones and Whipple. They are closing in, apparently. Let's go ahead and turn on our radar. Um, let's see what's going on here. We picked them up. I'm going to, and right off the bat, let's just, let's just initiate that retreat. 207. Oh my gosh. How? How is this possible? How many airplanes do, how many carriers do they have? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, poor poor Paul Jones and Wibble. Also, none of these zeros are damaged, apparently. Okay. Alright. And um I guess this is where I'm gonna kinda I mean I don't know how many carriers the AI has. They could have multiple. The fact that they have multiple is kind of funny when we're limited by command points, uh the way we are. Uh, this game definitely makes up for the lack of a competent AI by just throwing stuff at you. Um, which has a tendency of not being the most enjoyable thing ever. I, I hope that's not, you know, too controversial to say, <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of how I'm feeling. So I'll just say that. And you do with it what you will, dear viewer. But Paul Jones and Whipple are now going to be attacked by how many even how many planes in, are in this? I can't I can't do quick math. Twenty four airplanes, and coming at Paul Jones and Whipple once again after sending I don't know how many hundreds of aircraft have Paul Jones and Whipple have seen. Um. All right. Well, they've survived so many strikes now. Uh, there's no way this one's going to be the one that do, does them in, right? No way. He says, okay. Oh, damage is now critical. That's not good. That ain't good. All right, poor Paul Jones. Oh, no. Okay, we're working on the fire. Come on, Whipple. There we go. Shot one down. Adios. Okay, more are coming in. And fire has started aboard Whipple. I can't wait for nightfall. Nighttime's gonna be our savior. Hopefully we can get out of here. The problem is I don't have sufficient aircraft to really put up a fight here. Oh no. Okay, multiple fires. Get working on those fires. One more flight oh two more there's another one coming in here come on shoot them up yeah but i don't have sufficient aircraft to deal with this um if i sent a fighter squadron of four 
they would just get swarmed by all these planes and immediately get shot down for the most part. Like, they would not last long. Okay. Because uh, you can't really do, like, hit, or, hit and run tactics with your aircraft or anything. It's mostly just, like, they get tangled up and uh, whoever has the most guns really wins. Um, this ain't good. Moderate damage, though. Let's go ahead and initiate that retreat. 56 seconds. I think we'll be fine. My goodness. How many planes did we shoot down? Another three aircraft shot down. Uh, Paul Jones is in critical shape, has heavy flooding. Whipple is in moderate, has some moderate damage. He's not doing too bad. You can't escape it. You can't. There's no running. Oh my, oh my gosh, all these vowels, all these zeros. Oh my goodness. Vowels, zeros, oh my. It's a lot of vowels though, that's, that's worrisome. Um, oh my gosh. Here we go. Well, good luck. Hopefully you can uh, get out of this one alive. Hopefully we just start shooting down. Oh my goodness, this is a lot of planes. Increase speed. I'm mostly concerned about the valves now at this point. Those valves are going to hurt like hell. Oh, like there. Yeah. Oh no. Good luck. More valves closing in. Zeros. Oh dear. There's just. I don't think there's much. Uh, there's not much we can do. We just have to endure this. Paul, Paul Jones, pretty much dead in the water. Uh, damage control. This ship's done. Whipple, you're our only hope. Damage is critical. Shoot down as many of those zeros as possible. Give them hell. More bombs. Pretty brutal. Unfortunately, I think Paul Jones is definitely done for. She is dead in the water. Gun crews are still manning the guns and shooting down as many of these airplanes as possible. Oh my gosh. The valves are what's really hurting now. They're coming one by one. Mm. I think that's it for Paul Jones and Whipple. And you know, I would have backtracked if there weren't two Japanese task forces hot on our tail. It was try to get through the onslaught of aircraft. Oh, these aren't good. I try to get through the onslaught of aircraft or face off against a heavy cruiser. And Whipple was the first to go down. She got the brunt of this air attack. And there's still more valves coming in. Yeah, just waste your bombs on the sinking ship. The firefighting efforts on Paul Jones are extraordinary. However, the issue is, I don't know if this ship's going to be, the rudder is destroyed, the propellers are destroyed. We cannot move. <laughs> that is certainly a problem. I wonder if 
Let's let's retreat, leave combat. Okay, Whipple was sunk. The Japanese sent 45 aircraft against Paul Jones and Whipple, and they lost seven. It took 45 planes to finally sink Whipple. Um, so that's 1,300 tons going down. Paul Jones is in critical shape. Honestly, if I had the option, I would scuttle this ship. Um, it can't move, so I'm curious. I, I think on the campaign map, it is going to be able to move, though, which is kind of funny. Um, man, what time is it? 1500 hours let's keep heading towards singapore like let's see the ship the ship can move the ship can move um amazingly okay that's fine uh so whenever we go into tactical it won't be able to move this feels kind of lame oh my gosh what is this 10 ships very fast um i don't like that i don't like that one bit okay hudson's 500 pounds of armor piercing bombs done course go get them and we'll keep you okay they're heading back okay well new air can't launch let's head this way in front of the formation and go to tactical it's raining line ahead form up rainy gross let's see what is going on with this task force should be off to the west unless I'm mistaken I do not see anything now I don't know if we're gonna find much in this pea suit okay we have detected the Japanese ships let's just engage you engage too you engage one, why not? And looking here, it's just a bunch of destroyers. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. It's annoying, yes. But they can't bombard our ports. They aren't going to do a whole lot of damage. They could be carrying troops, which would be worrisome if they're just ferrying troops and supply. But that's still better than our ports getting bombarded. Our Hudsons, yeah, let's just go for it. Level bomb just to avoid damaging our aircraft. The level bombing strategy seems to be working rather well. We're going for the first and a couple of leading destroyers. This is a lot of AAA. We're going to be flying directly over here. Come on. Okay, I'm sure our bombs have been dropped. Yeah, so it's time to... And they all missed. Got it. Not entirely surprising. And the uh, bombs from the other Hudson's missed as well. All right, get out of here. It was worth the shot. Time to leave. <laughs> Paul Jones has made it. Paul Jones has made it to Singapore. Manage cargo. 150 men. Let's go. All right, and you are going to loop back around. Six, ten hours, eleven hours there. We're going around to avoid those Japanese task forces that are in these waters. But you know what? I'll take it. Better than nothing, that's for sure. Um, okay, perfect. That could be significantly worse. Here's hoping uh, Paul Jones will be able to make it back to Palembang after taking on these 150 men. Oh my goodness, they've done it. Paul Jones has done it. All right, come here. Get in there. Drop off those 150 men. You gosh darn hero. <laughs> love it. I love it. Okay, manage cargo. There we go. Perfect. All right. Uh, Paul Jones, you are going to move out, and uh, we'll try to repeat that little process. Run up at night and uh, get some troops. We do have this this freaking cargo ship, which honestly, sending that up this area seems like a recipe for disaster. I wish I had more destroyers. Java is really what is going to help ferry supply or troops back and forth at this point. Ohio is moving back. Just checking on our overall position. This is day 13, so on the next day, we should get some more command points to play with which should help the situation overall. 
Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.